Welcome to another tutorial on MATLAB. In this tutorial, we will see how to create a SIL or software in loop platform for testing. So basically we will create a test harness and we'll implement the same in the testing workflow. So let's get started. So we need to choose create test harness and we need to select the ports that will be relevant to the things so we will be creating a output port as uh, output port will be connected to the scope and input will be imports and here in the advanced property option we need to select sill software in loop and then we need to press on ok for the implementation so if you press on ok so there is some issue that we are getting so as we can see here that we are getting an ERT TLC issue if we fix it properly so it is deactivated we need to activate this and then we need to generate the code so this configuration setting need to be done for the generation of the SIL okay so you need to set the ERT TLC for verification so we will go to the model properties now and we'll change this and then we'll try to generate the sill again so you need to go to code generation and then click on the browse button you need to check on the ERT TLC embedded coder and press on ok and press apply and then we will go and generate the sill sill test harness create controller model test harness in this one advanced property we will go for sill and we will click on ok we need to set the output as scope now if we press on ok this will be generating the sill so basically the initialization things are happening also you can see and it is gradually making the sill so this is the sill test harness so this test harness contains the scope block that we have defined it already and the imports so yeah we can manipulate this and uh, we'll be able to implement this as a separate block and uh, also in the last tutorial as we have seen this also has a s function built in inside so this also we are able to see in this particular sill test harness so basically uh, this test harness will be created if you click on the save button a new file will be available which will be this one so so this is the definition file along with that it also have created a max file so this max file will have the implementation and by combining these two files your simulation will happen in the sill setup so that is how it works so every time when you are creating a max file or um, you are saving it then in that case these two types of file you will be getting one is max 64 max w64 basically which represents this windows 64 version and also you will get this definition file so by uh, having these two files together you will be able to generate your sill execution so this is how this will looks like if we double click and check how many harnesses we have now we have two harness one is mill and one is sill so if we click on the sill harness the sill harness will open and we can simulate it in case you are liking our channel please consider subscribing in case you have any comment or any suggestion please let us know in the comment section so that we can improve your experience of learning matlab in this particular channel have a good day and happy learning matlab